So you found a work from home business opportunity, got all excited thinking that you just had to share on social media and you would poof, start making some money. But you're sharing and somehow not making any money? Hey, it's Suzanne from SuzannePerkinsM.com and I'm going to give it to you straight as to why promoting your business on Facebook just isn't working for you and how to fix it. So you found a way to make some side income from home and they told you that you just had to post on Facebook about it. Don't worry, it sells itself. People are going to love it and you're just going to make money. And it's possible that you may actually have gotten a little action and made a few sales initially, but now it's totally dried up and it's just not working for you. Well, here's why. Any friends who you interact with on Facebook who are in the market for whatever it is that you're selling, they have already bought it. And it's really only if you had any friends who were out there looking for your product or service or opportunity in the first place. Others, they just Googled it. They maybe saw some bad reviews or figured they get it or a cheaper knockoff on Amazon and so just got it there. And honestly, the rest just aren't interested in what you're offering. But by now, everyone who was going to buy, either because they were actually interested or just to be nice, has already bought. And you're just annoying the same people over and over and over again, pitching your product, service, or your opportunity. Have you noticed people starting to unfriend you yet? If you haven't, hold tight. It's coming, okay? Because people are on social media for three reasons, either to be entertained, consume information, or to network. They don't come to shop or to be pitched. And when people check you out on social media and you are a continual infomercial, it's a total turnoff. It's like you're the mall kiosk person working on commission that everyone avoids eye contact with because if you make eye contact, you're going to be sucked in and hard sold on something that you're just not interested in. People hate feeling sold while they love to buy. They just hate being sold and they are going to avoid it whenever possible. So your current friends will start avoiding you and anybody new who sees you online is going to see that and they're going to see the pitch coming a mile away and avoid digital eye contact with you. So obviously what you're doing isn't working. So how do you fix it? All right. So let's start with what not to do. Number one, don't blast the name of your company that you work with, your network marketing company, affiliate marketing company, or whatever. Don't blast that name or the product name publicly on social media. That's a private conversation. Publicly, you want to talk about the benefits, make people curious about what it is, and then privately, you can give them the details. You don't want people to just go off on their own, you know, Google it and then come to their own conclusions on whatever they find, right? Because the internet has all kinds of stuff. So don't publicly say the name of your company or the name of your product. Number two, don't post constantly just about your business. Your timeline should show you just living your life out loud, doing all the normal and fun stuff like a regular Facebook user. Then a few times a week, you can mix in some kind of nonchalant promotional kind of stuff, but not more than one direct promotional post per week. Now, if you run across a TV station that was just commercials, let's be honest. What are the chances that you would stick around very long and watch? Not very high, right? The exact same thing goes for your social media profiles. You can't just be a constant commercial. Number three, don't just see people as potential sales. They're going to smell that a mile away. Some people may have a problem that your products or opportunity can solve, but honestly, most people are not going to buy. Don't be rude or unfriend people who aren't interested. You never know who they may connect you with or even if you could end up working with them later on down the road. If you are looking to use social media to grow a home business, you need to meet people where they are and fit within the framework of social media by entertaining, providing valuable information, and networking. So figure out what problem your product or service solves for people and learn how to offer them a solution to that problem in a non-pitchy way. Yes, that may be easier said than done at this point, but with a little guidance and practice, it can become like second nature. If you need some help learning the nitty gritty and the step by step of exactly how to do this, how to successfully build your home business, then you definitely want to click on the link at the top of the description to gain access to an amazing training that they really could charge hundreds of dollars for, but they do this for free. So make sure to grab your access before they change their minds and decide to charge for the training. It's a great training to build your business successfully. So grab that right away. Now, if you're interested in learning how to set up more of an automated home business that doesn't require you to be active all the time, hustling on Facebook or wherever, where you can just set up a system and generate 
generate sales 24-7, I've also included a link to a sales automation training to learn how to do just that. I hope you got some great insights from this video. Do me a favor and give me a shout out in the comments if you did. Please share this video as I'm positive if you've been involved with home business for more than probably five minutes, you ran into someone or you know someone who could really benefit from hearing this message. Again, this is Suzanne from SuzannePerkinsM.com. Please know that I'm in your corner and on your side and I'm here to help you create the time freedom and financial freedom that you and your family so richly deserve. So subscribe so that I can help you do that. Turn on those notifications. If this is your first time to my channel, let me know that in the comments as well so that I can welcome you to the community. Be sure to watch that next video so that you can continue to receive valuable information and I will see you soon.